Hi boys and girls, I'm Mrs. Messina and I hope that you are having an awesome day. This is my special guest named Lily and she's stuffing her Yeah hi. You're, she's stuffing her face with bananas, chicken, and potatoes. So just mind you, my hands and our artwork might be covered in those items. So we are gonna be doing a mystery drawing. So I want you to grab some paper, a pencil, and anything that you could draw and color with. I'm gonna be using a vanilla folder because it's easier for me to hold and show you how to draw this. I'm also gonna be using a Sharpie so that way you can see better. You didn't want the bow anymore? Okay. So we are gonna be doing a mystery drawing and it's going to be random and it has to deal with Lily's favorite food. So what I need you to do, the first thing that we are going to do is we are gonna be drawing two rounded V's. After that, you're gonna connect it with a curve. Are you guessing? Are you making a mess? After that, you're going to draw some curvy triangles on the inside. Again, lots of curves. After that, what you are going to do is over here, you're going to swing around and you're going to put a J at the end. So it kind of looks like a hook. After that, you're going to give some space and over here, you're going to make a curve, but it's going to go kind of like on a diagonal. So you see how it kind of like goes on a diagonal? After that, in between here, you're going to connect it with a diagonal line. Alright, so this diagonal line is super important. Now, over here, you're going to connect it with a diagonal line that's going more up towards the right hand corner. That one's going to be really important. So. It kind of looks like a little cute, chunky creature. Yeah, do you like it? You got a banana up your nose. After that, you are going to connect it with a curve. All right. In the middle, we're going to put a little circle. And then we're going to draw a curve one way, a curve another. After that, we're going to give some big oval eyes, and you can even fill in. So, what do you think this creature is? What do you think it is? Do you know? No? Want more banana? So, it is a cat, but... But what type of cat? We'll see. Let's get this hair out of my mouth and let's get going. So over here, you know how I told you how this little diagonal line is super important? Well, I'm going to show you why. First, we're going to go over here a little bit towards the middle of this paw. And we're going to make a curve. Okay? Now, from this curve right, from this hand right here, we're gonna draw another curve, and we're gonna have it connect. So it looks like a big U. After that, along here, we're going to follow that curve. We're gonna make like a backwards J. So it kinda of looks like it's on a surfboard, but it's not on the surfboard. Let's see where it's on, or where it's at. Now over here, we're going to come out and make a curve. We're going to go on the other side of this diagonal line of the cat body and we're going to connect it. But as you connect it, we want to make sure it curves. Okay, so it looks like a long tail. I'm wondering if you're super stumped of what we're doing. After that, we're going to have it curve just to make the texture. Can you guess where my cat is hiding in? Let's see. Are you ready? Are you ready to see where the cat's at? Are you? Or no? Okay. Want more banana? Quick out of time. So, speaking of our bananas, we are actually making a banana cat. Look what we're making, Lily. 
Yeah. What is that? Good burp. Yeah. Let me get a banana kit. So as you can see, these are the peels. So over here, what we're going to do next, we're going to start making the body. So first, this line right here is going to be one of the edges of the banana. So you're going to have a curve down. Over here, you're going to have another curve and you're going to make it connect over here. We just want to make sure this bottom part is not too pointy. After that, we're going to draw a box. Yeah, we got to draw that box. That's going to be the bottom of the banana. We're going to add some scratchy lines for that texture. Don't worry, we're almost done drawing. We'll play and we'll watch Frozen, okay? See, she wants to run. She's a very active friend. All right. So after that, we are going to draw some lines just to show the texture. Over here, we're going to be drawing more of our banana peels. So first, we're going to make a curve. We're going to curve back. Over here, we're going to make it look 3D. And we're going to draw another curve. Again, lots of curves for this, but remember, this is a banana, it's not supposed to look perfect. Now finally, over here, we're gonna come out in the middle and we're gonna bring it back to the bottom of that banana. And we're gonna draw some lines, all right? And if you wanna spice it up, you can add some hilly lines around, all right? And again, you might need an erase this to make it thinner if you want to, you can make it larger, but now, we have our banana cat. And again, I can't wait to see what these pictures look like. If you would love to show me your finished work, please either take a nice picture and upload it to Seesaw or upload it to your Art Sonia under Banana Cat. I can't wait to see your drawings. Have an amazing day. Wanna say bye to our friends? Wanna say bye? Bye at all. <laughs> You're just gonna make scary noises. Or should I make you laugh? Well, looks like Lily's ready to play, especially we got her a new little drum set. Are you ready to play? All right, boys and girls, I can't wait to see your banana cat. Bye, everyone. Wanna say bye one more time? No? All right.